Hello everybody and welcome back to another brainstorm. So today we're going to be talking about the food tests and of course this is a required practical for the GCSE biology exam. So we're going to split this video up into three main parts. First of all we're going to talk about the tests for different carbohydrates. The two that we have to know about for this course are sugars and starch. Then we're going to talk about the test for proteins and finish off by talking about the tests for lipids. So it's a short video and let's get into it. All right, guys, so before we actually get into our food tests, there's a couple of things that we have to do to take the normal food that we know and make a viable sample to do our tests on. So first, we're going to ask ourselves, what do we do before the food tests? So there's a couple of things. First thing that we need to do is we use a pestle and mortar. So that's this piece of equipment you'll see right here. And we use this to actually grind our normal food up to a pulp. The next thing that we do is we're going to add it to a boiling tube filled with distilled water, and we're going to stir that together to create a solution. Then we're going to use this filtration apparatus here, and that is to get rid of any suspended food particles, so any things that are floating around. And that's going to give us this here solution of food, and then we can add our various regions to it to conduct food tests. So let's take a little look at them now. All right, so the first food tests we're going to look at are our tests for different carbohydrates, starting off with our sugars, okay? So if we want to test if the food sample has any sugar in it, we're going to add a chemical called our Benedict solution, and that's a name you need to remember. The Benedict solution on its own is a blue colored region, so it's going to turn the solution blue to start with. Then a very important step is we need to heat that solution up in a water bath, so in hot water. And then our positive test, basically if sugar is present, uh, the solution is going to go a brick red color, and you'll see that here. Uh, these usually show a sugar but what can happen sometimes is we can have anywhere from a green all the way to our dark red and all this shows us is how much sugar is in that solution so if we have a little bit of sugar it will present to be green it can go even up to a yellow um, and if we have a lot of sugar it's going to go red so increasing amount of sugar there then for our test for starch, uh, what we need to add to it is two to three drops of iodine solution to the sample. And you see that in the picture here, iodine usually has a sort of orangey sort of brown color to it. And we're going to add that to the solution to test for starch. And the positive test, basically, if starch is present, the solution is going to turn a blue black sort of color. And you'll see that here. Very similar to the sugar tests. Um, for the starch, we can have anywhere from a blue down to a black color, and that just tells us how much starch is present, increasing towards the black color. All right, guys, so the next food test that we need to look at is the test for proteins. How do we test if there's any protein in our food sample? So the region or the chemical that we have to add this time is called the Biorex solution. Biorex solution, as you'll see right here, also has a blue color by itself. And the positive test, i.e. if protein is present, so our solution will then turn purple, um, we do tend to see quite a dramatic color change, but again, it can go anywhere from pink up to purple. Um, but we're just looking out for a blue to purple color change for protein in the food sample. All right, guys, so the final food test that we need to look at is the test for lipids. So these are our fats and oils. Um, the thing that we have to add, so our reagent for this one is a Sudan 3 solution. So the Sudan 3 solution, as you'll see here, already has a sort of orange color to it. So we're going to add it to the food sample and we have to shake it quite vigorously. So the positive test for the lipids, so if lipids are present, what we'll see is this red precipitate forming on the top. So it's going to be a little bit like an oil spill on the top. And the color is um, red, even though this diagram shows a little bit pink. The red precipitate shows us that we have lipids here in the food sample. And with that, I'd just like to say uh, thank you guys all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.